Shavua Tov Rabotai. We are continuing with our Mishnahim in Masechet Kilaim. We're up to Perek Daud, Mishnah He. The Mishnah now is going to quote a disagreement between Bet Shemaim Bet Tilel regarding the minimum number of rows required for a group of vines to be considered a vineyard. Now, the difference between a vineyard and a group of individual wines is regarding the distance another species has to be separated from them. For an individual vine, you need a separation of six tfachim. For a vineyard, you need a separation of four amot. So now the Mishnah says, If a person plants a single row consisting of five vines, Bet Shemai Umrim Kerem, Bet Shemai say it's considered a vineyard, Bet Hilel Umrim Eno Kerem, but Bet Hilel say it's not considered a vineyard. Ad Shiyushem Shte Shurot, until there are two rows with a total of at least five vines. Now, Rabotai, the Mephashim explain. Five vines is the minimum required to be considered a vineyard. According to Bet Shemai, all five can be even be in a single row. Whereas according to Bet Hilel, a single row, no matter how many vines it is, is always considered a collection of individual vines. In order for vines to be classified as a vineyard, Bet Hilel says they have to be in two rows, with one row containing three vines, and another row containing two. And this is how the Rambam explains likewise in his Ilchot Kalaim, chapter 7, al 1 and 2. Now, Bet Shammai's ruling in the previous case is stricter than Bet Hillel. Why? Because according to Bet Shammai, since a single row is considered a vineyard, it's forbidden to plant seeds within four amot of it. But according to Bet Hillel, it is permitted to plant seeds just six tvachim away since a single row is not considered a vineyard. And Rabotai, just to point out, six tvachim is one ama. So Bet Shammai being much stricter if it's a single row, a single, a single row to consider it a vineyard that you need four amot separation between that and another species that you want to plant. However, the Mishnah is going to let us now a situation where Bet Shammai is more lenient than Bet Hillel. Lefikach, therefore, if a person plants seeds within the four amot workspace of a full vineyard, thereby prohibiting the vineyard, Bet Shammai Amrim, Bet Shammai say, Kiddesh Achat, Kiddesh, even though it generally means to make something holy, here in this Mishnah, in general, the word Kiddesh is going to, Kiddesh is going to be used in a sense of making the fruit or produce forbidden for benefit, that's how the Rambam explains it, based off the verse that we're going to quote soon. So the Fikach, somebody who, therefore, if somebody plants seeds within the foremost work area of a full vineyard and thereby prohibits the vineyard, he has forbidden only one row of the vineyard as Kelaim, since one row is enough to be considered a vineyard. He has forbidden two rows, since two rows are needed to qualify as a vineyard. Now, when a person plants grain or vegetables in the four ama work area around the vineyard, both the grapes and the grain or vegetables become prohibited to benefit from as if they were planted in the vineyard. However, that doesn't mean that the entire vineyard becomes a su. Our Mishnah tells us that only the minimum that is called a vineyard becomes a su. So since according to Bet Shammai, even one row of vines is considered a vineyard, so only the first row that is facing the grain or vegetables becomes a sub, forbidden, whereas according to Bet Hillel, the first two rows become forbidden, since the minimum size of a vineyard is two rows. Obviously, any vine that is within four amot of the vegetables are forbidden, no matter what row they are in. And the Rav goes on to explain that we learned this from a pasuk, quoted in Sefil Dvarim, that is um, brought down by the Mifarshim at length, to explain how we learn out this halacha. That is in Rabotai of Mishnah Hey. Actually, Rabotai, let us quickly see what the logic is behind this ruling. Now, this halakha is learned from the Pasuk. The Pasuk says in Sefer Dvarim, Pen karem. So that the growth of the seed not become asur along with the product of the vineyard. Now, the Torah is, only t- is teaching me that only one vineyard becomes a sur and not two. 
Basically, the Torah is saying that a large vineyard with many rows of vines is considered as a group of vineyards going together. Therefore, only the one vineyard that is within the four amot of the grain or vegetables become a sul. According to Bet Shemai, that's the first row. According to Bet Tidal, it is two rows. That is in Rabotev Mishnah Hey. Mishnah Vav now is going to continue of what we just learned that the minimum number of vines to qualify as a vineyard is five. However, in order to qualify, the five vines cannot be scattered around. They have to be arranged in a certain pattern, and that's what the Mishnah Vav is going to deal with the pattern. If a person plants two vines facing two other vines and one additional vine sticking out like a tail, that's considered a vineyard. Now, Rabotai the Rav explains, and Mephashim point out, in order to qualify as a vineyard, five vines have to be arranged in the following pattern. The first two vines in each row are planted opposite each other, so you have one, two, one, two, while the third one in one of the rows sticks out beyond the other two like a sort of tail. This obviously follows the view of Betilel in the previous Mishnah that the vineyard has to have at least two rows. However, even Bet Shemai, who say that five vines can be in one row, agree that if the five vines are divided between two rows, they have to be how we describe here, two, um, the first two facing opposite other, and then one sticking out like a tail. Shtaim can neged shtaim ve'achad ben taim. However, if he plants two vines facing two other vines and plants one vine in between two of the others, so that the middle vine in one row is facing the empty space between the two vines in the other row, and the way they say it is we have two vines, one, and then two vines. The Mishnah says, O shtaim keneged shtaim ve'achad ba'emtza, or two vines facing two vines and one vine in the middle, facing the empty spaces on all four sides of it. So basically you have one vine, one vine, middle, one vine, one vine. Basically four vines making four corners of a square and the fifth one in the center. And no kerem, that's not considered a vineyard. Rather we treat them as individual vines with six tvachim of separation is enough. Ad shiu shtaim keneged shtaim v'achad yutzazanav. Because five vines do not, are not considered as a vineyard unless they are two facing two and one sticking out like a tail, like how we explained, one, 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 and then one sticking out like a tail. In any other case, it is not considered a vineyard, rather just individual vines, that six tfachim would be enough to separate and you don't need the four amot. That is the end of today's Mishnah. Everybody should have a Shavuot Tov. Baruch Adonai Amen Amen.